Hi there, some of you may well know that I have filmed two videos over the last couple of days um, about all my completed pages that I've finished since I started colouring two and a half years ago. Um, I have done Joanna Basford as a single separate category all on her own um, and that is today's video so we'll get into it. Um, of course Joanna Basford <laughs> needs no explanation. She's one of the books I started with and that I continue to regularly come back to so I'm going to do these. Um, separately today. We have Magical Jungle. Um, I only have this um, double page spread in here um, but I did really enjoy doing this. We worked together um, a little bit on this on one of my live streams I believe. Um, let's sort out this crazy focus so you can see what's going on. There we go. Um, and I've got a gel crayon background in yellow and green, um, some pastel toned pencils, which is very unusual, um, a colour palette for me. And then I've uh, blacked out some of these elements, which is more usual for me, a little bit of white gel pen. And um, I still really, really love um, how these two pages turned out not sure this lighting is doing them justice to be honest it's very hard to find a happy medium um but i love how they turned out and they are a couple of my more recent pages um we have probably my favorite book of hers which is world of flowers um i like this one a lot and i come back to it pretty regular this has got probably one of my most popular uh, instagram posts in it um just the book belongs to page there um i do believe that is pablo's there's quite a lot of white gel pen on there for texture um, the Pablo background was horrendous to do and I would not do that again with those pencils on this paper. Um, the rest may be polychromos, possibly. Don't quote me on that, I'm not totally sure. Um, from there we have this, my very most recent picture. Um, this is in my November completed pages video. I will link that down below in case you haven't seen that. Um, I was doing um, the cute and spooky tag and just wanted to show you guys that, you know, to join in these things, it doesn't matter what you have, what you use. Um, what you're working in you can very easily participate um, so I made my world of flower page a little bit more spooky I've done it in a purple orange and green palette um, and I have of course drawn in the spider and the web with some um, black glitter gel pen um, just a nice simple page. I will pop that tag down below in case you're interested as well. Uh, but yeah, really fun. Uh, I think the background's uh, gel crayon. Is it gel crayon? Is it ink? It's always one of the two. Probably gel crayon. Um, so that is that page. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. I've got some more. Um, this I did quite some time ago. I cannot for the life of me remember which pencils that will be possibly brute Funa square mm, could be anything um it's a pencil background so painstakingly done um but i did have fun with this i love how the uh dots turned out on these little fluffy flowers in the background um this is one of my very early pages um, and one of my early videos on YouTube showing how I colour with the original Brute Funa round barrel pencils and this is actually my most popular video on the channel. It's had the most views of anything else. Not really sure why uh, or how to reproduce that effect but I uh, will pop that down below in case you haven't seen it. Um, so that is a really simple page I did quite some time ago. Um, from there I have half a double page spread, uh, of course, and uh, 
just this fun page I did some time ago. I've just put um, acrylic paint pens around the edge. It's a black acrylic paint pen in the background. Uh, some soft pastel, I believe, uh, for the blue and the pencils. Not sure. Could be Black Widows, but I'm not totally sure. A little bit of white gel pen just to make those top pieces pop and I do actually I really like how they turned out in the end I just need to uh, maybe finish off the other side for full effect um, right let's see this is a colour along is it a colour along no no this was a uh, I was reviewing the Giorgione pencils um, for this one um, I, w I will link that down below as well. Um, they are from the Grabby website, I believe. And of course, it's a gel crayon background. These are the Gelato Translucents. They always turn out really nice, really subtle in the background. Um, ah, this is the this is the colour along I did. We did this together on the channel as a Let's Colour, so I will link that one. Um, really enjoyed this. This is more of a muted, more of a me kind of uh, grey sort of palette I've noticed is the theme with myself. Uh, and I tend to just black out bits that I don't like really, that I just don't want to do uh, is my answer to them. Um, and then the final page I've done, another colour along with you guys on the channel. We did this one together. I lost the footage of the end of this page, which is so irritating when you spend all that time on something. So I've uploaded the video anyway. It's just missing the very end where I finish off um, this background. Um, and all I did was obviously spray it with one of the Distress uh, Ink sprayers for water. Um, dabbed it off just to get this uh, Distressed spray background and added some white gel pen onto some of the dots in the background there. I'm pretty sure that's the only bit that it did miss off. So in case you're interested in most of a page, I'll pop that one below as well. But I do love how that turned out. Uh, so that is that book. I then also have the Worlds of Wonder book, which of course until just recently was the newest release. Um, and I've got this page done in here, which was a really fun buddy colour I did some time ago. Uh, I think it's a gel crayon background. Uh, I've just rubbed some of it out to get kind of a misty effect across the middle. Can't remember what pencils they were. Mm, no, uh, but I know these are Holbein. Some of these are Holbein in here. And uh, I added a... Glossy accent cover to this uh, glass ball, which in hindsight was a crazy thing to do because I have not coloured the other side of this page. Um, so, hmm, not sensible, but it's done now. I'll have to try and work around it somehow. Uh, I do like how that page turned out nice and simple. Um, and then the only other page I've done so far in here was just a fun little mushroom there. Uh, I'm thinking Black Widow pencils, but I'm not really sure. It may be the Brute Vuna squares, maybe a mixture of both. Who can tell? Um, love how this one turned out. In case you're interested, guys, as always, um, I have usually shared all of my colour combos for my pages. I will pop that playlist in the description box down below. Um, I then have Joanna's Christmas, which is one of the few Christmas books I have because it's not really my kind of thing. Um, Christmas colouring, I never get around to it. I've uh, got a whip in here. Um, I think I've done two pages in this one. Um, I love this one. Uh, I love how it turned out. I do believe that is Polychromos uh, that I was practicing baubles on here, trying to learn how to create that um, effect of them shining and um, that kind of 
you know what I mean, when you've got a Christmas bauble and they shine in a weird way, they don't just reflect um, normally, sort of thing, you know. So I've done that and I uh, love how this turned out. I'm pretty sure it's polychromos. 50-50. Um, and the only other page that I have completed in here. Yes, this one. Uh, again, just, you know, showing you how to change a page. Pop something into there. Nice and simple. You don't have to be able to draw to do it. I used a stencil for this one and some gel crayons. So it's a gel crayon background. I think these pencils might be the polys again. Oh, annoying. I need to rub that off. Um, and just some white gel paint crayon for uh, white gel pen for a bit of added interest. Um, pretty sure we coloured this one together. I think this was a let's colour. It may. It's hard to remember which ones I've done. Um, if it was, I'll pop it in the description below. I'm really not sure about this one, but I think we did it together. I remember. I remember the stencil. I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, I love, it's kind of cute, it's halloween -y in hindsight, <laughs> not sure I meant it to be. Uh, I have one page in the miniature Enchanted Forest. This is a tricky one to work in. Um, an unusual palette, I think it was for a challenge. Uh, it's a gel crayon background and just, uh, I believe these are Brute Funa squares, I think, probably. Um, just a really simple little page in there. A uh, couple more to go over, guys. I've got Enchanted Faces, uh, which was my, of course, first um, book and this was pretty much the first page that I worked in, um, pretty much the only completed page I have in this entire book. Um, I came back to this not so long since to finish it as uh, I've done myself a complete my whips challenge again this year and uh, I've filmed all my whips, they will, I'll pop that video in the description box as well, um, showing you all my unfinished pages that I currently have. Uh, depressingly there's quite a lot I'm terrible um, these were probably um, probably Black Widow and Arteza uh, I'm not sure what I finished them off with but I love how he came out he is actually my profile picture on uh, Instagram <laughs> And then we have a Secret Garden, again, my, the first book. I bought this in uh, Enchanted Faces forever and ever ago. Um, I do have more pages in this one. I've got this um, title page. We did this together, um, testing out fine liners in uh, Joanna Basford, uh, hence the crazy colour palette. <laughs> Um, if I can find that very early video, I will pop that one. Uh, and then I have this one, just a monochrome colour palette in pink. This is my early attempt at an ink background. Um, so not, not amazing, but um, I was learning. And just some pencil for the uh, flowers. Considering doing this side purple, so that... They complement each other. Um, from there, have another page here. Again, just really simple, relaxing colouring. That's why I come to these with um, a gel crayon background. Again, an early attempt because you can see where my blending's uh, struggling. I'm still learning. And uh, just nice and simple. Uh, this is a very early double page spread and uh, nope, I did not feel like drawing anything. I just coloured it in so it was done. Not my favourite colour palette in the world. I like the wasp uh, on this page and probably my bee turned out alright but uh, I think I got a little bit crazy with my, my colours here. Uh, not too sure about it but 
I don't hate it, it's done. And then my final page in this book. Uh, again, just a relaxing um, colour some flowers and leaves. That's my go-to. Um, not the best blend. It's quite an old page, one of my first. And uh, not a colour palette that I'd choose now either. I'm not keen on these purples. Notice purple is not um, a colour I seem to use. All that often. Um, that is that book. And then finally, I do have Ivy in the Inky Butterfly as well. I've um, got a couple of pages done in here, some of my least favourite. Um, I have this one. This was my first gem practice, and I love how the um, the diamonds turned out on here. I just I don't like my choice of glitter gel pen for the edging i would do that differently and i did originally use a red um soft pastel on this and i rubbed it out because it drove me absolutely crazy um it's just far too bright it's not my kind of um color palette so i don't work in this book a lot um, I've done this one and called it finished because I got sick of doing these. Uh, the Pablo pencils don't love this paper overly much and they're not my favourite to work in. <laughs> the Joanna Basfords is what, is what I've learned and it can be a little bit torturous to try and create something like that. Nowadays I'd grab a stencil and use an ink um, to gain this kind of effect or ruler or anything. Um, and the only other finished page I have in here, also very bright. I was obviously having a moment of learning um, what kind of colours I do and do not like. Um, but it's fun and it's finished. And, uh, you know, as always, I learnt a couple of lessons about myself. One being that this bright just isn't really my kind of um, colours. Um, nowadays I'd probably put some ink down in the background there as well but um, yeah there you have it sorry for the noise someone knocked um, and yeah that is all of my Joanna Basford completed pages I have a whip in rooms of wonder at the moment so if you do want to see that you'll have to watch my whips video and apart from that guys thank you so much for watching I hope you're enjoying the channel and I will see you in the next one happy coloring